Good morning everyone, it's Lynn from Lot 95 Designs and welcome to Technique Thursday. Today we're going to have some fun. I just got some really great paints at a really good sale. Never used them before so this is a first. We've got the jelly plate and I've got a canvas bag. I've wanted to uh, jelly plate this bag for a while so I thought we could play with that today. I have no idea how that's going to turn out. I've got some stamps and stencils on my desk and let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. This is the 5x7 jelly plate and from Jelly Arts. Let's see what we can do. Okay, put that to the side, get us in focus here. Let's start with some bright pink to get our day going. My desk is an absolute mess. So maybe some pink and a little bit of yellow. This is really thick paint. Wow. This is going to be fun, I think. Oh, this way. It's pouring rain here. Oh my gosh, it's so yucky today. So a great day, I think, to play in the studio. So, let's see what we got. We have some dots. Let's press that in there. Oops. That's kind of sticky. Uh, what else we got? Nice little flower stamp. Let's push that in there. Make another one. Uh, what else we got? <laughs> That's, you're going to hear me say that about 10,000 times today. What else we got? Oh, that's fun. Some squiggles, maybe. Oh, we like the squiggles. Let's put more here. And the fun is going to be putting this in the bag. We'll see how that works. I'm not so sure about that idea. I hope it turns out. And maybe some more dots. Okay, here we go. Now, do we do bag to jelly or jelly to bag? I'm not sure. Because I can't open it up, I think what I'll do is take the bag. Sorry about that. I don't have much room to work with today. We'll take the bag, maybe, and we'll put the jelly onto the bag and see what happens. Here we go. And we'll press down. And hopefully that all transferred onto the bag. And it did. Isn't that cool? Oh, I think that's fun. All right, bag to the side. And let's try a different color. Maybe we'll do orange and, hmm. Whoa, orange and green. That looks like a pretty bright combination. Don't need much of this paint at all. My little brayer, I think that poor bag is going to be saturated by the time this is done. Okay, we'll do that. And grab some more fun doodads. Oh, we got some wiggly flowers. I think you got to press pretty hard into this jelly to get that going. And what else can we do? Maybe some of these. These are just random little stamp doodads that I have. I bought some at a sale the other day. Um, they were Claudine Helmuth. So they look like this. I found them at like a bargain bin. I did see them, I think, on Amazon, so I will definitely try to find links for them. I need something small over here. How about this one? I don't know if I want that there. Ah! This is kind of a crazy idea. But we could always jelly over it, right? And we'll I have this little doodad here that just makes some little lines. Maybe we'll make some of those into the flowers. Get rid of that. All right. 
grab the bag again. And I think this is going to be an easier way to do it. Sorry if I'm not totally in focus here. And we'll put that right there and press down. Using this as a great big stamp, I guess is what we could say. And let's pull that off. Oh, that's fun. We have a little bit more. Maybe we can do it on the edge here. Try to get rid of some of that paint. Oh, that's cute. We'll put some on the edge of here. Okay, fourth jelly, or third jelly. Let's do purple, maybe? And some, how about purple and pink? That looks like a fun combination. I'm just gonna grab some scrap paper and brayer my color off. I got too much color on here, and I don't want that transferring to my jelly because then that'll turn into a mucky mess. So now I have this to play with later. That's the thing with jelly. Oh, this is gonna be a juicy one. So yeah, it's raining today. Not real happy about the rain, but what you gonna do? It's a great day to do jelly plating. I think so. How about this one? We do some little squares. I want to try a stencil too. That looks going to be fun. And maybe just a little bit here. And press down. Just really not sure what this is all going to look like. That's, that's what I love about art. Is just having fun with random patterns and random things and playing in the studio and I don't know, I just have fun getting messy and when I turn the video camera on and I go, oh geez, what is going to happen today? And really, most days, I just don't have an idea. <laughs> I just go, okay, let's just go for it. All right, this is messy. Okay, get that out of the way again. Pick up our jelly plate. Lots of fun designs on it. Get the canvas bag again. And we'll do one right at the top. See how this is going to go. All right. Oh, that didn't really transfer. Let's put that back and see if we can press down on it. That's kind of a wild color. Maybe we'll have to do something else on top of that. That turned out kind of wild. Not sure about this one. Might have to lighten that up with some uh, white or we could do a stencil maybe over top of it. So that's our bag so far. Let's try another color. Uh, how about lime green? We got that purple on there. Where's my sheet? Take the back of the sheet and press that on there. There, we got that. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I like that one. I think that little other one was just a little too dark for me. Let's do green, maybe. And a little bit of pink. A glob of that. I have all this scrap paper on my desk and uh, good just to can cut stickers out of this or maybe use it for a background for a card just never know what trouble I can get into okay let's try ooh, lime green and pink this is gonna be fun I think maybe add just a little bit well yeah maybe we'll leave it like that let's try this eek that's kind of a fun little flower Let's do this one, maybe all flowers. And some little ones in here, maybe. I decided to use foam stamps because I think 
they work the best in the paint. So I didn't take any of my rubber stamps out. So let's take a peek at this. Oh gosh, this is messy, hey? I think this is the messiest video I've ever done. Okay, how are we gonna do this? I've got jelly on my fingers. I've got the art sweater on today. It's so cold. Oh my gosh, it's cold here today. And put some green maybe there. Oh, that's... All right. That is kind of fun, I think. So I'm just gonna put the jelly to the side. Look at this. This is our bag. Now I think what I'm gonna do is put the bag to the side and get out the little jelly plates and maybe do a little circle. So these are fun and just make some patterns over top of that. So well, let's see what we can do. Again, too much paint lin and that's not a good thing. Whoa. It's hard not to have a lot of surface to play with. And the video camera only goes in, you know, one direction. So, oh, I think we need a little dab more. Can never have too much paint, right? Oh yeah, you can. So how's everybody's day? What's everybody up to today? I love knowing what everybody's doing. Because, well, I'm just getting messy today. My plan is to shoot a few videos today. And I got some shadows happening, but that's okay. Okay, let's bring the bag back. This is a way easier one to work with. It's so small. And I'm just going to lay it right down here. Give it a press. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that's fun. We'll make some circles. Put my jelly friend far away from this. And let's see, we want to do one in the middle. So maybe we'll do a, whoa, that's a lot of paint. That's gonna be squishy. Oh, what should we do over there? Some dots maybe, or maybe this. This looks like a fun little thing. Come on. And since we have paint on here, let's see what happens if we just pop it onto the jelly plate. Oh, that is cool. I think I like that better. I think I'm just gonna do it this way. Just put the paint right on the circle and just put it right on the jelly plate, right onto the bag. That is fun. Yeah, I like that. Let's do a couple more green circles. I think I found a rhythm, people. So let's put some more paint on here. I'm gonna use this as a kind of a palette, I guess. I want to get more pink. Maybe we'll just take the green off, grab a paper towel, take that off and do some pink. There, now we got mushy pink going on. I either have too much or too little, I think. Okay, let's try this. So we'll put the stamp right in the paint, get lots of pink paint on this, and then we'll stamp right onto the bag. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I like this. I like this idea. See, you always find ideas when you don't know what you're doing. That's what I say. I don't like the paint that squishes on the side, but we can fix that too. So our bag is coming along quite nicely. There's the little pink on it. I just want to try to get rid of some of these lines. So put something across it. Do maybe a couple more flowers. And uh, 
I'm liking pink today. Can you tell? It's a pink day in the studio. All right. Here maybe that turned out fun I love jelly printing it's messy but it's so fun there's so many things you can do and I think the possibilities are endless of what you can use in your in your stashes and from your cupboards and your garages and our Facebook group. Oh my gosh, these ladies sharing stuff that they find around their house that they're using. I, I'm i just crazy blown away with these girls. That is so fun. What a day I'm having, hey? This is really cute. I'm thinking that this is going to be my Bible bag. I think I can carry my little Bible in here, my coloring Bible and some pencil crayons if I go out and about and, you know, go visit a friend or then I can uh, hang out and everything's in one spot. Let's see if we can do some dots. Oh, dots are fun. Try to brighten up this dark purple here. I think we're gonna need maybe a little bit of white. Put some more pink on. That's not really pink, is it? It's kind of getting mushy. I seem to always get a brown color by the end. Does anybody else have that going on with their jelly? That it just gets mushy after a while and you get brown? Let's just put some here. Oh yeah, that's going to liven things up a bit. No rhyme, no reason, just having fun. Put that out of the way. And there we go. Now I think maybe I'm going to try to brighten this up with a little bit of white. So I'll grab my paper towel and take the pink off the jelly plate. Let's see what we can do with white. The only color they didn't have in those big paints was white. So I just have my little white doodad. Let's grab some paper and get this off. I wish I had a sink in my studio. Boy, if I had a sink, life would be so grand. Really it would. Clean that off because we're going to white. All right. Okay, so let's get white on here. I don't know if we should just do a big white circle or really what we should do with white. Maybe we'll play with this and we'll just do some squiggles across it and then just put it hmm where are we gonna put this one let's just try it right here well I'm not sure about that but now we have to do two because you can't just have one big white glob right we need two big white globs so we'll do another squiggle and maybe we'll put this one up here Yeah, that's cute. We like that. This bag is getting <laughs> really juicy. Maybe we'll give it a little dry. And then I do want to do a little more white, maybe in the flowers or something. I need my huge big flower stamp. That's what I'm missing. It is right here. Sorry about that, I wasn't planning on using this one today. There's my little masks from it. Put those to the side. And then I think with this, I'm going to, 
Well, I guess, will that fit? Not really. I think we need a paintbrush, so we'll just put some on there. I think somebody's got to go and buy some more uh, white paint. And I'm just going to paint the flower. These are so awesome. My ladies in my group, I sent them a JPEG and they managed to figure out how to make this stamp. Really, right? Who does that? They're crazy good. Oh yeah, look at that. We love these big white flowers. It's kind of our signature flower now from our art cards. All right. Couple more big white flowers. And uh, this is going to turn out really cute. And then we'll do the back side. Maybe try some stenciling on the back side, see what happens with that. You can always paint over it. That's what I say. And I ordered these little canvas bags from eBay. And they said, this is a large bag. Well, this bag is not that large, people. Not that large at all. Oh, that's cute. I like that. All right, I need one more circle because I always do things in odd numbers. I either have to do a three or a five. I don't know why. It's, I've always been like that. Everything in my house is in groups of threes. So let me just get that off there because I'm sure I can manage to get that on the jelly plate. We had one circle there, one circle there, and we'll put one here. And... Voila! So there's our bag on this side. I see my camera battery flashing, so I'm just going to change that. Be right back, and we'll start on the other side. Messy desk. So here's this finished side of the bag. And I'm going to flip it over and do the next one in part two of the video. So I will see you next week. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing what happens on the other side. Bye-bye for now.